Alright, alright, alright. What it is, Danny X. We hear some Jesse on Fire. And uh, that's probably my second favorite channel, right under Chael, of course. So, I was just watching him. He was cracking me up doing, doing his whacked out shit. And I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Right here. This is a serious comment, I think, that Logan Paul gives to Mike Tyson. Let's watch this really quick. Mike, I'm going to be honest with you. I love you, Mike. That's same. Nice. And I'm very nervous for you. Thank you for caring. <laughs> Thank you for caring. And then watch Mike's face through this. He's trying to be respectful, and he's trying not to laugh in their face as they're trying to intimidate him secondhand. He's like, motherfuckers. Hey. I, I I beat the, 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 the King fucking Blood's ass of New York. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I do care. I care about you. And I care about my brother. And I know the path he's on right now. And it's ruthless, Mike. And I just feel like I want you to be okay in there, Mike. Cause he Look at Mike. Look at Mike's face. He's trying not to laugh in Logan's face. He's a... He's a He's a real killer, Mike. Like, he wanted to be a Navy SEAL before he started boxing like in high school. School. He he wants to be a Navy SEAL. He wanted to go kill people. Sorry, I keep pausing it because I'm like, I you have to talk about this again. Okay, like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> hey, dude. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I hear you, bro. Listen, man. I, I just want to be straight with you, dude. The reason you should be super concerned about your health going into this fight is because the guy you're fighting in high school said he wanted to be a Navy SEAL. You're all. Saying that to Mike Tyson. <laughs> what were you doing in high school, Mike Tyson? Shit. Knock motherfuckers out. Hey, Logan. Uh, when I was in high school, I wanted to have a 20-inch dick. What the f*** do with anything? <laughs> he wanted to be a Navy SEAL? <gasps> oh, my God. Scary. 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 Hey, when... So super scary. Mike Tyson was in high school. He was decapitating professional boxers. Mike Tyson was heavyweight champion of the world at age 19. You're talking about Jake Paul wanted to be a Navy SEAL and, and when he was in high school. Hey, I don't care what else Jake was doing in high school. You know, right around that time is when he was putting out them dancing videos. And y'all know exactly which ones I'm talking about. So it, it don't matter what kind of shit that you think he was doing that was badass putting that kind of shit out <laughs> what are you talking about dude how is that a thing that makes sense to say to mike tyson okay like let me here let me call up one of my hang on for one second hang on hang on hang on <laughs> hey joe 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 hey what did you want to be when you were in high school oh a serial killer and a dolphin damn dude that's crazy are you either of them Oh, neither. Not a serial killer nor a dolphin. Okay. <laughs> Do you think it's relevant that you wanted to be a serial killer and a dolphin when you were in high school? No? All right, hang on for a second. Hang on for a second, you guys. <sighs> Dave. Hey, what did you want to be in high school? <laughs> what? Just, just, just answer the question. <laughs> a rap star? A rap star? Well, listen, okay? Because... Want to be a rock star. <laughs> Jay-Z is holding a rap battle event next week, and he said to bring your friends, and I said I would bring you, and I did tell him that he should be super concerned about rap battling you because <laughs> you wanted to be a rap star in high school. No, I realize he is one of the greatest rap stars of all time. I know that, dude. I know. But you wanting to be a rap star in high school is super relevant to this conversation. What are you talking about, dude? Good lord. So let's get into this video and we'll see some of the other idiotic shit that they said. Now I had a whole section that I let, you know, I apologize for the technical difficulties. I still got to get some better equipment and whatnot, but I'm just rolling with it in the meantime. Cast cringe talk about all the lawsuits facing Logan Paul, which I mean, listen, dude, I'm not a karma guy. Wait a minute. Yes, I am. I 100% am a karma guy. That is why I absolutely never attack anyone's businesses or anything like that i only do things where like i feel like i'm defending people against bullies okay i would never go out of my way to hurt a person even if like even if you know maybe they deserve it i don't do that because i really do believe what you put out there comes back to you 
And Logan would be a perfect example of that. He sues Dylan Dennis. He sues Ryan Garcia. He sues uh, CoffeeZilla. And now, oh my gosh, look at this. He's facing 100 lawsuits, okay? I don't think that that's coincidence. Now, I actually just did a video on uh, Play With Matches with Gabrielle where we're talking about the Amain Khalif thing because it turns out, oh my God, the gold medalist and everyone said had XY chromosomes and then they gaslit us about it and it was like, oh, it was all fake news. Turns out it, there are XY chromosomes and her coach admitted it. So... That's on play with matches right now. Logan Paul, uh, that's why I'm letting him off the hook on that lawsuit because he's named in her lawsuit. And so. And that's how you know, Jesse, I'm a fan of yours because I couldn't give a flying fuck about that subject and I still watch that shit on your, on your other channel. So that's how you know I'm a fan because, uh, I mean, that whole subject, I don't see what everyone's fascination is. One look at the motherfucker, you know, it's a man. Uh, all this hubbub and it, it, is it or ain't it? You know, like, we all know what he is. Don't we? Don't we, Fifi? We know. We know. That's the one. You know, it's frivolous, dude. Okay? You said something that was true, and you're getting sued. It is frivolous. <laughs> and that is definitely karma. All right, so listen to this, though. Okay? Let's just listen to this little number right here as an example. These guys do not understand who Mike Tyson is and need to get a lesson on Tyson. Well, they get one right now. And you seem so peaceful and calm. I think some people are excited to see that version of Mike Tyson that is the killer come out on November 15th. Absolutely. That's going to happen. But this is what I learned from prior experience. <laughs> when that tough guy Mike Tyson comes out when it's not... <laughs> Just, just the uh, nonchalant manner, absolutely, and that's gonna happen. You know, th that's a given. Like, like, what are we even talking about here? That's a given, <laughs> absolutely, and that's gonna happen. Don't worry, you're gonna see that guy. But, but I've learned since then, just, to, just to keep that guy in the ring. <laughs> the third it comes out, I'm always in handcuffs, so I, I'm very careful when that guy comes out. You break, you break down. Hands. You see the difference between like actual dangerous person and dumbbells pretending to be dangerous like tyson's not joking i mean like he's like laughing but he's not joking like this is the last dude on earth that you want out of the best jokes on the planet are true control and angry oh he's old he'll collapse your skull in into a like a i wouldn't fuck with tyson at 80 what are you talking about 60 shit Hey, he's still mobile at 60. I wouldn't even fuck them at 80. What are you talking about, dude? Like the way that a person crushes a Coca-Cola can, if he punches your cheek, your orbital bone goes like this. But let's continue. And go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Every time I drink, uh, get ready to get in a fight, I break out of handcuffs. <laughs> out of handcuffs. But, but do you ever worry that that... That Mike dies. Like, what if you show up? What if you show up in the ring, November fifteenth, and you instead of fighting, you start reciting poetry? These guys do not get it, dude. These guys don't look at Mike. Look, he's like, like I, I really think like Mike, like Tyson has never been around people who who look at him like this. Or he's like, wait, what? Like he doesn't even know what to do with. Him. Uh, wait, like, what if I get in the ring and I'm like so nice and I forget it's, look at his face you know what I mean you know what I'm saying or or you know like I like I said before find a small animal to pet in the center of the ring like are you sure you can access that killer still hey listen and all the, it's, it's unfortunately I have to fight and be that guy I wish I could stop that guy that guy haunts me that's 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 I wish I could stop that guy I wish I could stop that guy I wish that guy died but he's here to stay how do you how do you access him? There's, oh, hang on. This is like the greatest thing you need to listen to. This. Also, look at how they're joking around, and Mike is being totally. <laughs> and you can tell Mike is just being straight up, one hundred percent honest. He's like, you know, I, I wish for exactly that, but unfortunately, that's not what was in the deck. Serious and genuine. Um, just love my children, love my family. That's how I just. Basically, get rid of the guy. No, no, no. How do you, how do you bring him back? Like, what's what's oh, going to so do it? Listen, he wants to come back every second of my life, so it's so easy for him to come back. <laughs> That's your secret. It's always just right on the surface. You can you can access that that Iron Mike Tyson at any time. 
Only thing I have to, no, and all that child, we're going to keep it real, right? Yeah. Only thing I have to think of is being younger and people bullying me. Oh, that's how you get there. I used to get bullied in this guy. I want you to look at his face when he says that again. And keep in mind we'll do that just these guys are like joking around with him. They think this shit's funny. Okay? Like, I, I, listen, I realize Logan Paul's a tough guy. Okay, I get it. He's very talented. He's very athletic. He has gotten into the ring and fought in front of a million people, whether it's Dylan Dennis or KSI or Mayweather, whatever. Takes gr- Jesse didn't pronounce it properly. It's Dildo Dennis. Okay. I mean, it's really close. It's easy to miss. Just- and it balls to do that. So I'm not saying this to be disrespectful. What I am saying is this guy has a pampered life. He's never run up against actual for real people. Okay. I don't believe he has the eyes for that. I don't think that he can look at a person and go, oh shit. Like this guy is actual danger. Like a real dangerous person, a person that you need to be extremely wary of, okay? I know those guys. I'm sure a lot of you know those guys. I've met a lot of you motherfuckers that watch my channel. You guys are those guys in many, many cases. Logan does not know, and Mike might be able to figure it out. He's got pretty good eyes. But watch Mike say this. Look into the corner of his mouth. And and all that child, we're going to keep it real, right? Yeah. Only thing I have to think of is being younger and people bullying me. Okay. Oh, that's how you get there. I used to get bullied. He'll kill you, dude. And this guy bullied me, killed my pigeon, hit me in the face with the pigeon what? and shit, kicked me, spit on me, and um, my first fight was over a pigeon. No way. First fight ever. No way. So it started the whole... Started this. That's cool. I'm a pigeon. So clearly they don't know Tyson. Let me tell you that story. So Tyson, who comes from... Never heard that story before. That's fucked up. The gutter, Brownsville, eighties. Okay, go watch. Go watch the the documentary, uh, the seventy fifth. Uh, fuck with Michael Dowd and all those guys. That that crew of corrupt cops. You'll never get a better look at what like Brooklyn and Brownsville and those places were like back then. The, the, I mean, dude, they're the most dangerous places in the world. They're like fucking Beirut or like uh, that's not even a good. It's like a favela in Rio. Like, you go out there, you get killed. Dog eat dog, man eat man. If you weren't strong, you get eaten there. That's where Mike comes from, dude. His whole life, when he was young. He got arrested 37 times before he was 13. These guys don't know anything about this. That's crazy, bro. I mean, I've heard that since I heard that, but yeah. Not a whole can relate to that. And that story, he loved pigeons. He got pet birds that like came to his house and he started raising pigeons. He was like 12 years old or maybe even 11. And he was playing with his pigeons, like little like nice Mike. And these ghetto ass gangster ass kids went over there. And one of them took his pigeon. Mike was asking, he's like, give me my, my pigeon, give me back my pigeon. And the guy's like, you want my pigeon back? And he went like this and went and popped his head off. Okay. And Mike snapped. That's the first fight he got in any one. Just sheer rage, dude. Now, I would imagine that a lot of you guys know that whatever this thing is that lives inside people who go to the gym and train and make sure that they're a very formidable adversary physically, a lot of us had that kind of shit in our background. A lot of us felt small. A lot of us got fucked with, picked on, beat up. So, like, with Tyson, he says that, you're looking at him, you're like, you guys are... Maybe that's what's missing for me as far as the drive to be continually i wasn't fucked with much i mean i was fucked with a little bit but i wasn't fucked with much as a kid uh me and my brother weren't always the biggest kids in class but usually um and i just didn't get fucked with the most i ever got fucked with was when i lived in the straight up hoods of course out in uh, topeka kansas as a kid being the only white family uh not just on the block or in the neighborhood, but within like a couple neighborhoods. And then when I lived down in right south of Miami, there's a town called Homestead. I mean, really, it just looks like one big run on city all attached to Miami. But when I when I was down there, we were like the only white family in the neighborhood. So anyway, I'm just going to. 
Um, just so that it's... Oh, fucking shit. Just so this don't run on too long. I just wanted to... <laughs> say what up, Jesse. <laughs> I've been watching you for years, bro. Uh, you got multiple different... Uh, what do they call it? Yeah, multiple subscriptions from me, dude. From multiple different accounts. And, uh... My bitch likes you. Don't you, bitch. <laughs> Alright, what are these, honky? Just shouting out, shouting out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for rolling with the dark light. Step into Dane's world.